welcome back to my channel. I am doing a reading vlog and that is a Bride by Allie Hazelwood because I have a feeling I'm not going to enjoy this book. So why not just vlog my experience reading it and, you know, just see, maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe I'll like it. Maybe I'll hate it. Who knows? That's why you're along for the ride. So let's sit down and start reading, shall we? So it's the next day. Um, I didn't film my thoughts last night because it got to be too late and I was really tired and really want to go to bed. So I'm about 50 pages into Bride by Allie Hazelwood and I already have some thoughts. So I thought that I would share some of my um, thoughts that I have and I'm just like, so like, I think it's like the prologue or whatever, or like the very first chapter and Misery and Owen, her brother, like her twin brother, are already discussing like how low is going when low is going to kill her and how low is going to kill her and I was like are you serious we're on like literally like the third or fourth page like can we like wait for that and then her name is misery and I was like no way no way this character's name is misery unfortunately that is her actual name and I was like okay Allie Hazelwood could we not come up with anything better or what like because Owen has a normal name Owen is a normal name why is she named misery like I get that her life is kind of like miserable but I'm like really misery come on Allie Hazelwood you can do better than that and I got to the end of the prologue and I was already uncomfortable because I have read some like snippets from this book and I was like oh I'm gonna be very uncomfortable this entire book I have a feeling because like at the end of the prologue he's like sniffing her and like growling at her and I was like no 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 I'm already not okay with this it's just something about that I'm like no I'm not okay and at the beginning of the book there is a dear reader letter because it's an outcrate edition and it mentions that Allie Hazelwood mentions that she wanted to write a paranormal romance and take a break from writing stem rom-coms because that's kind of what she's known for but Misery is, an I, is in, an, in IT. IT is part of the T part of STEM technology. And I was like, oh, so this is basically just another STEM romance. Great. Okay. You're not doing anything differently than you normally do. And the thing that pissed me off most, like the number one thing that's like really irritating me, is that she explains the vampirism and I guess like the like lycanthropy as like a genetic mutation. So the vampires are basically just humans who have fangs and drink blood. They can have babies like normal. Um, the sun doesn't really like, doesn't kill them or anything. Um, I'm just like, really? You're basically just a human. Oh, they age. They're not immortal. They're just humans that have fangs and drink blood basically it. They're not vampires. They're not. I'm sorry. And it was so funny. At the end, um, Lo, basic, well, at the end of the chapter that I finished, he basically storms off from the wedding reception. I was like, wow, Jacob Black much? Just saying. And then I'm going to read you some quotes that I captured. And one of them is, I pictured him in a home gym tirelessly working on his abs and shrugged. I was like, okay. Another one is, this is Owen talking to Misery. He gestures for me to follow him. I hope they vaccinated you for rabies while they were at it. I was like, real classy writing. And then we have, they are taller than vampires, stronger than vampires, faster than vampires. And I was like, my brain, like twilight, like twihard that I am, automatically thought of Jared from uh, Twilight when he's like, when the pack like comes into Emily's house and Bella's meeting her for the first time. And he's like, damn it, this chick runs with vampires. And she's like, you can't run with vampires cause they're fast. And then Jared's like, yeah, 
well, we're faster. So that literally like triggered that memory in my head because I love New Moon, okay? We're not gonna get into that right now, but New Moon is one of my favorite movies and books purely because of the wet wolf pack. We will unpack this at a later date because most people will be like, well, you should like Low then. No, 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 no. Low is a werewolf and the pack is, are shifters. Like they shapeshift into, they just happen to shapeshift into wolves, but they're completely different because I remember there being a thing that's like, they are not werewolves. They are shapeshifters. So there's a difference. Don't anybody come for me and try to argue with me because I will not back down. I will die on this hill. So I am literally 50 pages into this book and I am straight up not having a good time. And we haven't even made it to the spice yet. And I am dreading it. I'm literally, cause usually in like a spicy romance or like a paranormal romance, like that was my favorite part. I'm like, let's get to the smut. I need them to start having sex. Um, not with this book. No, I'm like, let's not, let's please, let's don't. So I'm going to sit down and read some more and I may update you tonight or I may continue to update you the next day. It just depends on how I'm feeling tonight. So yeah, wish me luck. So it is like 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. So I am, I don't really have like any plans for this weekend. So I think I'm just gonna read. I still need to finish Lore and then I'll continue Bride. But I just wanted to like check in with you guys and give you some of my thoughts about um, what I read last night. I'm 126 pages in and I'm enjoying it a lot more than I did when I first started. I'm still slightly annoyed at Misery. I don't like her at all. She's very annoying. Um, but I just have some quotes and things that I wanted to share with you. So I think it's like, I think it's Alex who's talking to Misery and like explaining kind of like where culture and it's something about like being able to shift like during the full moon. He says, she's like, what dictates whether or not, you know, you can shift at will or whatever. And he says, how powerful aware is being able to shift at will. It's a sign of dominance, being able to shift during the full moon too, or being able to avoid shifting during the full moon too. And I was like, oh, so like Teen Wolf. Cause like the whole thing is like when Isaac, for example, he's my favorite character, is trying to find an anchor. Like he can't control the shift during the full moon, but Derek can because Derek has an anchor and everything like that. So yeah, I was like, oh, so they're like Teen Wolf werewolves. Great, okay. And then this one, I was like, that's, mm. I'll just read it. They rarely touch. When they did, her wrist accidentally brushed, brushed against the front of his shirt and he found himself tearing off the piece of fabric where her smell was the most intense. He slipped it into his pocket and now carries it everywhere. And I was like, that's creepy. That's not sexy, that's creepy. Not, not okay with that. And they can call themselves shifters all they want. They're not, they're werewolves, they're not shifters. I don't care. Like I said, I will die on this hill. And at this point, I'm more interested in the mystery of Serena's disappearance than Lo and Misery's relationship. So I could care less about the developing relationship between Lo and Misery. I'm more interested in Serena's disappearance. So that's how it's going. Like I said, I'm going to maybe write a little bit. I still want to finish Lore. I have like 100 pages left of that, maybe. And then I'm going to read Bride. So yeah, I guess I will just see you guys later. Sunday and I am about halfway through bride now so love that for me um I'm enjoying it a little bit um I'm still like annoyed with low and misery because misery's whole thing is that she's like I'm a vampire I, therefore I'm a bad person and have no feelings whatsoever I'm like okay and then Lo is just broody, sad boy. I don't want to be the alpha, but I have to be the alpha, but I don't want to be the alpha. And I don't really want to deal with all this shit. And I'm like, okay, like, 
can you give me some more personality besides these two like that one trait of vampire means I'm bad and have no feelings and I'm a horrible person and broody sad boy I don't want to be the alpha but I have to anyway and I'm like okay can we like can you give me a little bit more um but I do have some positive things to say and um there was this one moment when Lo catches Misery like eating peanut butter and he's like did you eat and she's like no no you didn't see that that never happened that didn't happen and I was like okay that's kind of cute I do like that and then I like Lo with his younger sister Anna he's adorable with her like I don't know what it is I think it's kind of like like how everybody was like obsessed with the Mandalorian because he was all cute with Grogu and everything like I think it's just that like a universal you see a big tough strong man being soft with a child and you're like oh and your heart kind of melts and everything like that um I do have at least just one quote and Misery is asking um Lo like why he has to deal with the old Alpha's mate and everyone who used to be loyal to Roscoe who was the previous Alpha of the pack that Lo is now Alpha of and she was like why they can't why can't they just succeed and form their own path pack and Lo says they're very welcome to do so and they make my fucking life much easier which I thought was funny and I was like yeah can't you just like take a page out of Jacob Black's book and like just break away from the pack and create your own um so I liked that I thought that was kind of funny so like I said I'm enjoying it a little bit more than I was um last night I had the first like spicy scene kind of and it involved a uh, low like rubbing himself all over misery and licking her and biting her and I was like mm -hmm no 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 I'm uncomfortable I am not okay with this I thought it was like a little bit like kind of hot but at the same time I was like I am mildly uncomfortable and not enjoying this so I do not plan on reading Bride today I just I can't um after last night I just I need a break from it I need to read something that I'm actually excited to read so I'm either going to read You Look Like Death or I'm going to start A Court of Mist and Fury I told myself I wasn't going to start reading my magical readathon books early but I just can't I need to read something that I'm excited to read about so yeah I guess I will see you guys tomorrow maybe Tuesday depending on when I pick bride back up so yeah and hello it is Monday so that means I did actually read some of bride last night before I went to bed I don't have any quotes for you there wasn't really like any standout ones that I was like oh this is cringe or oh this is adorable I love it I do have two things to say though. I loved the feeding scene, but I'm like a huge True Blood fan and that's like a huge like aspect of True Blood is like the vampires feeding on other people and of course it falls into the they get horny um for lack of a better word um when they feed on people and so I really like that. I loved Misery feeding on Low and everything that happened with that um I also like the bath scene where there's some touching and feeling and everything um I do not like that um the only aspect of that that I didn't like that Lo was like I can smell that you just like orgasmed and he's like did you and I was like, okay, that's a little gross. I don't like that. I'm like, that's a little too much for me. Um, but yeah, the spice is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think there's still more like cringy spice scenes that I will probably hate. But I don't mind them right now. Um, it's when we get into the whole like him calling her his mate and my mate and you're so beautiful mate. And I'm just like, no, no 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 thank you not into that um but I am to the point where I'm just like I am so exhausted <laughs> like I just need them to have sex and get over with so I'm just like I am to that point and it's not like a good like oh my god I love these characters together so much I just want them to have sex and be happy and I'm like no I'm to the point where I'm like I'm exhausted with you being like we want to but we can't but we want to but we can't and I'm like I am sick and tired of this like cat and mouse game that they're doing right now I'm like can you please just have sex and get over with 
So that's where I'm at with Bright. I'm definitely not going to read anything today because I'm exhausted. It's Monday and I almost never read or do anything on Monday nights. So I will probably check in with you on Wednesday. So yeah, so see you guys later. So it's Thursday and we are on the home stretch of Bride. I am, I think 83 or 85% done. I am pushing to finish it tonight. So I can post this on Saturday and I'm just gonna, I'm like right now, Misery has gotten herself kidnapped by Mick who used to be Roscoe's second. So I'm pretty sure Emery, which is Roscoe's former, her, his widow, his mate, is currently um, behind this. Not sure, we're gonna find out tonight. Um, so I didn't see that twist coming. That was very clever, because I did not see that coming. Because I was reading and I was like, okay, well, we're like 100 pages from the end, like, what are we doing? Like, where's the, you know, the big climax of the, of the book and currently like before she gets kidnapped and she gets reunited with her best friend Serena that she's been looking for the entire book um there's a third ed third act breakup which pisses me off because I just don't like them I hate them I hate third act breakups because usually it's like a really stupid trope that I hate and it's one of my least favorite tropes um my first favorite, first least favorite trope is miscommunication where I'm like, if you guys just talked, like we could, we could solve this problem. We could figure this out. Um, this is my s second least favorite and that is the, I'm going to make you hate me by lying. So basically, um, Misery has found out that Gabby is not Lowe's mate and Gabby is the werewolf cr collateral. Um, basically, so it's like when Misery married Lo, they had to send one of their own from their own pack to the vampires to kind of be like, well, if you kill her, then we'll kill her, you know, type thing. And she's found out that Gabby is not Lo's mate and that they like lied to the humans and everything like that to like find a loophole out of sending someone to the vampire. So they lie and say that Gabby is Lowe's mate. She is not. So Misery was like, I'm in love with you and I'm pretty sure that I'm your mate. Like I have to be, am I right? And then Lowe was like, don't use words you don't understand. Um, I'm not in love with you. I don't know if you've misconstrued what's going on between the two of us, but it's never gonna happen. And so it was basically, I'm going to break your heart to save my, my own heart, basically. So I don't know what the fuck is going on with Lo right now. And it makes me angry because the whole time we're in Misery's head. So we don't get, I have no idea what Lo's motivation for doing this is. I don't know if he's just like, doesn't want to allow himself to be happy or whatever. I don't know. We're going to find out. But I finally pinpointed why I am disliking Bride so much. And that's because it reads like a contemporary romance novel, which are not really of my favorite. Um, yes, I have read a couple like Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon. Most people would call that like a fantasy romance, but I don't really see it as that because um, it plays into the third act breakup trope. And then um, Holly Jolly Cowboy, I enjoyed that one, but I really dislike the third act breakup. It's my least favorite thing about romance books. But this book reads like a contemporary romance, which makes me angry because it seems like whenever we have paranormal romances, like in a regular fantasy book, there's no third act breakup. Like maybe they get in like a fight, but they don't like break up, break up. And I'm just like, um, okay. So I think that's why I don't like this because it reads like a contemporary romance novel and that is not what I signed up for. I signed up for a paranormal romance and that is not what I'm getting. Like, if you literally with this book, if you took out all the vampires and the werewolves and everything, you would just have a contemporary romance where like Lo is like a gang boss or something or like something like that or like a dark romance like that and I'm just like really 
And then, of course, he's a werewolf. So there is some, um, <laughs> there's some nodding talk about knots and everything. And I'm like, I am just so not into this. <laughs> I mean, like, the sex scenes are okay with them. I wouldn't say that they're, like, my favorite, like, spicy scenes that I've ever read. But I'm just like, I am so tired at this point. I am so glad that I'm going to finish this tonight. And then I can just post this and be done with it. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this ending goes. Well, I did it. I finished Bride last night. And I am so glad this book is over. Because <laughs> I'm just like, oh, wow. This book was a journey. And like, not a good way. So I ended up giving it a two. Um, because I didn't completely hate it. Like, I didn't completely loathe it, like some other books that I have read, but I didn't love it either. So, yeah. I do have some kind of, like, final thoughts. Hated the last sex scene. Hated it. Oh my god, it was, like, the one that I knew was gonna bother me the most, and it did, because there was the use of the word mate during sex, and... Um, he not send her for the first time and I was very uncomfortable with that. So I think that just like werewolf, like smut and things like that is just not for me. Um, I know that now I like, give me vampires all day, every day, but werewolves, I don't think I will ever delve back in to this. Maybe we'll do, I'm thinking of subscribing to like Kendall Unlimited eventually. And so maybe we'll do like a special like reading log for that. And I try werewolf romances again, but for the meantime, we're not going to touch the subject again. Um, there were a couple things like I wanted to say about like the ending besides the last uh, sex scene. Um, my suspicions about Misery's father was right because I didn't want to say last night that I didn't think that Emory was involved because I had a sneaking suspicion that Misery's father was instead the one who was behind everything. And I think it's because in... The Serpent and Wings of Night, Vincent was behind the, like, the bombing and the attacks and stuff the entire time. So I was like, I have a feeling, plus Misery's dad is just the most horrible being on earth. Like, I hate him and we're supposed to hate him. Um, and then my second thing is that Serena is like a half, like, wearer, also like Anna. And I was like, okay, like, that came out of nowhere. Like, why? I didn't feel like it was necessary and then like at the very end it's highly implied that there might be a sequel to this book um because Cohen who is the alpha of another pack like comes to bring Anna back to low after the whole like showdown with Misery's father and everything and he like not really like locks eyes with Serena but like sees Serena and is like oh my god I'm fucked because, like, Serena has ma is his mate or whatever, so I, like, don't care. And I was like, wow, I can't wait to not read the sequel. So, yeah, that was my journey of reading Bride by Allie Hazelwood. I am, I've decided that I'm not unhauling this yet. I think I might allow it to live on my shelves for a couple years, purely because I like the aesthetic and it's pretty. And I, yes, I flipped the Owl Crate cover around because I don't like this cover so I'm gonna put this cover on my shelves so yeah like I said this book was a journey that I will not be going on Allie Hazelwood is not for me which I didn't figure she was for me I've like read synopsis and like watched reading blogs of her other books and it's just I don't think she's the author for me which is fine that's fine I have several authors that I'm like that, where I'm like, I don't think I'll ever like one of your books, which, you know, reading is subjective and everyone has an opinion. So yeah, uh, thank you for coming along with me um, during this journey of reading Bride. And I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.